Okay, so the topic on the table. What is religious? When you say someone's really religious, dude, you're being too religious. Chill, you're being too religious, Holmes. Take it down a notch. Now, I was in a debate a couple weeks ago with the Mr. Holy Kool-Aid, and we were talking about whether religion is a net positive or a net negative on society. One of the, one of the points I brought up in the debate, and it, was, it didn't really go over well, wasn't really very successfully fleshed out, but I said that punk rockers can be really religious. And I saw people in the comments talking about it a little later, and, you know, they, what what's he, what's, what's he mean with this punk rocker nonsense? What's he talking about? So let me try to explain this, break it down. If we're talking about religion in its more commonly understood usage, you know, a religion like Christianity, uh... Islam, that's a religion, a worship of a deity with a whole... But I was using religion in a more broadly, in a more broader sense. And I was using the term religious in the sense of meaning more the way, you, the way that atheists usually use the term when they are talking about it. They are, they are, being, they are ascribing to it ne negative characteristics. Rigidity, conformity, orthodoxy. And I was just trying to point out that those, those, that way of being that is commonly understood as religious, these are the rules and regulations and you don't, you don't deviate from them. Now that is not spiritual, that is religious. Orthodoxy, the, these are the standards of behavior and you do not deviate from them. That type of definition of religion or religious. I have known punk rockers that were 100% like that. Matter of fact, I've known people within every single type of group that are like that. I have known Democrats that are Mr. and Mrs. Democrat to the core, and this is not what Democrats do, and that's not what Democrats vote for, and that's not how punk rockers act. That type of religious definition, a more broader definition in terms of these are, these are the codes and the ethics and the behaviors of our community, and if you're one of us, you obey them. And they had rules, hidden rules and regulations, and if you run afoul of those rules and regulations, you ain't, you ain't kosher. It's, it's, it's exactly like the, the Orthodox communities. It's the exact same idea. Let me give you an example. So, so we're on the same page. One time I was in a bar uh, in Nyack in New York, and I was talking to Mr. Punk Rock. The guy thought he was like, I'm Mr. Punk Rock. And there's a dress code. There was a dress code even. You had to wear the Doc Martens with the white laces. You had to have the, the, the certain type of jeans, and you had to have them. Uh, rolled over three times, I, I promise, there's a dress code. And if you didn't understand the dress code and you weren't dressed according to the code, you weren't punk rock. That's what I mean by religious. Maybe religious is the wrong word, but all I'm, I'm trying to talk about a certain type of mentality that exists every time people band together in a group. These are the strict rules and the orthodox behaviors that define our group. And those over there are the outsiders. And you need to pay attention to the strict rules and the strict codes of conduct that define our group. That's usually what I mean by religion. Or what I meant by religious. So I'm in the bar with Mr. Punk Rock. And he starts, he starts being blasphemous. <laughs> he starts telling me, we're talking about London Calling. He said, well, that's when Clash sold out. And I'm like, ah! Blasphemy! Stupid idiot! That's one of the best, that's the best punk album ever made, and that's one of the best albums of all time. Even Ask Rolling Stone, they had it on number five, the top albums of all, top 500 albums of all time. At one point, they had it on number five. He starts telling me that's when The Clash sold out, because they weren't punk enough then for Mr. Punk Rock. Now, had I been dressed differently, I didn't, I didn't dress like a punk rocker. Had I been dressed differently, though, I could have schooled him properly because that's how these people respond, just like religious people respond. If I were wearing the Doc Martens with the white laces and I had the, the, certain, the certain punk outfit, I could have schooled him right then and there and played, played authority figure with him. Promise. It's how this stuff works. I could have. But I wasn't. I didn't look like Mr. Punk Rocker. So he would not have accepted me as authority on the subject even though he was completely wrong and completely inane. But that's what I meant by religious. A much more broader that when people band together and they start acting in ways that are toxic related to orthodoxy, 
toxic related to these are the rules and regulations that define we are type of people and those over there are not our type of people. Now maybe there's a better word for that type of behavior than religious. But that's what I thought that when the atheist started talking about negative qualities of religion, that's what I thought he was getting at. Because that's a negative characteristic. That is the opposite of a spiritual quality. It's quite the opposite of, of how we are, we are commanded to conduct ourselves as a Christian, mind you. Yeah, it's ab absolutely it's the opposite. Paul said, I become like everybody so that I might save some. In other words, if I'm hanging out at a gas station and Mr. Guns N' Roses is, you know, he's wearing a Guns N' Roses t-shirt, I'm like, hey, man, I saw Guns N' Roses in, you know, back in Saratoga. It was great. I become like everybody so that I can save some. I try to, to encourage a common identity with him so that I can bond with him and, you know, bring him into the, bring him into the, the fold, so to speak. That's what the Bible actually tells you to act. That's the opposite of religion. That's the opposite of the way most Christians act. I've heard Christians tell a story, and this is, this is from an actual preacher. Um, this is an actual preacher. His name is Mylon Lefebvre. And he was originally in one of these, one of these hippied out bands from the 60s that was relatively successful. I forget which one. Three Dog Night, maybe. Off the top of my head, I don't remember which, which band he was in. But he was telling a story about the first time he became a Christian. And they didn't want him in the church. <laughs> because he had long hair and he was wearing jeans and he looked like, you know, he looked like Jerry Garcia's younger brother. They didn't want him. They kicked him out. <laughs> so you can't come to church dressed like that. That's religious. That's what I mean. A more colloquial use of the term. Those people are being really religious. That's the opposite of spiritual. That's the opposite of, hey man, glad to see you're here. Praise God. You know, yeah, you look like you look like a hippie, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there, cuz. It's the opposite of how a Christian is supposed to conduct themselves. That's all I was trying to get at. So, there you go.